oh no, it's night time right now. So what do we do? We just push this lever. Let there be light. Awesome. <laughs> How's it going run? I'm Luxie and welcome back. Today we are going to do a special mod showcase on a mod called Torch Master. So this is going to be an amazing mod. Wait, by the way, where's Pip? Pip, where are you Pip? Okay, let's go. We're going to check it out. Where is Pip? Pip. Oh, there you go. There's Pip. Oh my god, look at it. Look at it just sitting down over here. It's so cute. This is our little llama, Pip. Look at it, it's so cute. It's just sitting down out in the open with uh, apparently nothing over here. So anyway, let's go ahead. We're going to continue here while Pip enjoys his rest out in the night. Uh, don't worry, there are lights around so there are no monsters coming out. It's on peaceful anyway. So later on, I will go ahead and change the difficulty to let monsters spawn. So anyway, let's get on to the mod. So we are doing the... The Torch Master mod, if I can say it right. So we have three different items that we're going to have a look at. We have a Terrain Lighter, a Dread Lamb, and a Mega Torch. So these three are the ones that comes with this mod and it is really awesome. So we are going to have a look at how to make all these items. So first off, we have ourselves the Terrain Lighter. It looks like this, uh, kind of like a block with something on top like bamboos and stuff so we need a chest in the middle three stones two wood any kind of wood that you can find a torch and of course two sticks so this is how you make yourself a terrain T terrain lighter yeah so second we have ourselves the mega torch so this torch is really great it actually lights up an area around you and prevents mobs spawning up to 64 blocks away which is great so it's kind of expensive no not kind of it's very very expensive you need three torches two diamonds two golden blocks and two wood so this is kind of like an end game item I mean, honestly, 64 blocks is very, very far away. So this is an end game item. And finally, we have the Dread Lamp over here. This one is kind of cheap because we don't need diamonds here. All we need are obsidians. We have glass panes, a glowstone, and of course, an ink set. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys how the mod works. All right, so I've moved myself further away from that area here. You guys can see that I actually tried out the terrain lighter over there. So I'm going to show you guys how to use the terrain lighter right now. So all you have to do is place down the terrain lighter. There we go. So it actually lights up the area for you, a very, very nice and well kind of orientation. Like, it's very orientated. So I'm go just going to show you guys how it works. So you go ahead, right click on it. This terrain lighter requires coal to work. It's something like a furnace and you need all your torches. So let's say I have 64 torches here. So we're going to put it in and it doesn't work. You, you must be thinking like, oh no, why doesn't it work? Because you need redstone signal. So we don't have any redstone signal. You can have a redstone torch. You can have a lever. I prefer a lever because we can turn it on and off. So I'm going to take a lever over here I'm gonna place right on it and it's bright right now so it's not gonna work I am gonna tame change the time to night time right now there we go so very very dark look over there it's so lit up okay so what what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it on and the terrain chart the terrain lighter will start to work let's see it going in there we go so it starts placing down all these torches here awesome it goes all the way in a circular motion and it places any kind of torches i mean it places all the torches you keep placing them until you run out of torches i think all right guys so it has finished putting down all the torches i think it has used all 64 torches that's why it stopped so let's go ahead we're going to check it out i think all 64 has been used there we go so all the 64 torches that we put inside are gone the coal stopped working because there's no more torches inside and there are power here from the coal which is great so i'm just gonna turn this off first it's gonna be morning real soon but 
but it's okay because you can see. So it places in a very nice kind of pattern, a squarish kind of shape, and it's actually five blocks away from each other. So if you guys have an area that you want to light up, so I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to change the difficulty to easy here. So enemies start spawning out. So you can see here is pretty light up. There is light up as well. So the monsters don't actually spawn nearby us. All right. So next thing we are going to look at the mega torch. So we have our mega torch over here. It's going to be morning again. We're going to make it night. So we're going to put our mega torch over here first. Let's see, there are a couple of places that I want to put. Okay, so there are a bunch of monsters over here, right? So we're going to place one torch here, and then one mega torch here. And we're going to see how this works, okay? So these mega torches are incredible. They work at a 64 block radius that prevents monsters from spawning. So I'm going to go ahead and place this one more here. And I'm going to change this to peaceful again. And then all the monsters will disappear, right? And we're going to see if they're going to spawn back in this area here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to change it back to easy. And you see, look at that. Look at that. It's all clear. There's no monsters around at all. So this is what the Mega Torch is. It, it, that's what it does. It lights up the entire area. And it blocks enemies from spawning. So finally moving on to our last item is the dread lamp so the dread lamp is not so strong it is actually similar to a glowstone so we're gonna place this right down i think it has about a eight kind of radius so there are a bunch of enemies over here we're just gonna put it down hello, hello creeper we're just gonna place it all the way down around these enemies over here so look at all the light the light is actually the area where enemies don't spawn in so we're gonna try again we're gonna go into options we're gonna change this to wait hold on hold on we're gonna change this to peaceful they will be gone and then we're gonna go back into hard let's see let's see how this works so it actually prevents the enemies from spawning all around this area which is kind of cool anything outside the light boundary will be able to spawn in so remember if you guys want to get this these are really really cool lamps they can be placed uh, all around it looks kind of neat as well it's it has an obsidian frame with glass panes and a fire source inside which looks pretty neat actually so this is probably all there is to it for this mod this is a really awesome mod if you guys hate monsters spawning especially like creepers and stuff during the night in your survival game go ahead get the diamonds make yourself a mega torch because from what we can see the mega torch there are no mobs spawning anywhere around which actually saves really it, it's really really safe okay it keeps your base safe and it keeps you safe so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's episode if you do do leave a like and subscribe if you're new luxy salute to you guys and i'll see you guys again soon